Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 40 of the series. Today we are learning the most basic setup of routing which is component routes. Let's get started. Before I get started, please do like, share, comment on the videos. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Alright, so following is the playlist I have covered so far around 39 episodes. Last episode onwards, we started learning about routing. Today we are going to implement the component routes. Alright, so first things first. Angular routing is a mechanism that enables navigation between different components and views within an Angular application without reloading the entire page. That's what makes it a single page application. Till Angular 16, if you see, you'll find a file which is called app routing module. But in Angular 17 onwards, you don't have that default app routing module file. Instead, what we have is app dot routes dot ts file this is where we will add the routes however that being said we can also make use of the router module and create the routing modules for the lazy loading modules or the regular modules we can configure different types of routes wildcard matching getting query param ids we can also use router outlet router link all of that so as part of this series, I'm going to show you all of that in action. But today we are going to start with the first one, which is setting up routes for our components. All right. So let's get started into the code. All right. So I have my application here. If you're following, we are building a crew management system. That's what uh, this Angular application we are building. And the first thing we'll do is generate a component. Uh, let's call it um, uh, people. Right, that's where uh, that will hold the information of the profiles of the people of the airline, so, or you can call it say users. We already have users component, so I'm going to call it uh, crew profile. Okay, that's one of the things you do profiling of the crew before you actually assign them to flights. All right, so I created a component, it generated a component here. You can see crew profile, you can expand, and you can see that by default all the components are standalone in angular 17 all right so the most basic thing you will do is go to app routes .ts, all right and this is what we have done so far as part of the learning so i'm going to empty it so that you know how it looks by default just empty this entire thing for now and it would be an empty array of routes this is how the default would look like so when you want to add a new component route the first thing you will do is import the component like this import crew profile component from the path I'm using visual aid studio code which has this auto completion the next thing in defining the routes is you'll always start with curly brace open curly brace closed the option you'll give is path that is the URL that you want and I'm saying when the user navigates to crew profile, it should go to the component, crew profile component. That's how you add the component routes. Let's say you have hundreds of components. You can add the path right here in the app routes.ts file. Once you have done it, fire up the application by serving ng serve. It may take a few seconds to build, so now it's ready. Go back to your browser, open localhost, and right now we are at the home page, so we are not seeing anything. But navigate to crew profile, and we should see crew profile works. That means it's routing to our component that we have. Let's go ahead and modify that message, and let's say come message. Welcome to crew profile management and we can use this to bind it in the template or let's use h1 and we'll bind it here this we have already covered in previous episodes so make sure that you go through that and when you go here now it says welcome to crew profile management 
So that's how you add the component routes in the app routes.ts. Okay, you go ahead, create more components. Let's say we already have a payments component here and a module. You can have flights module or any other, say filter users, right? So you can also add that component to an existing one. Curly brace open, curly brace closed, and then say filter users. And you can map that component and say filter users component that's already imported here. So that will this should work. And now go to filter hyphen users and you will see the filter users component. Right. So I hope now you will be able to map any component route into Angular 17 application. We'll keep building these use cases in the next episode. I'm going to show you how to get query params from routes, okay, which is when you have certain value or information in the routes, how do you get it? That's what we are going to learn in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the next episode. Keep learning and keep mastering Angular with me. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arttutorials. Thank you.